Hello everybody, this is Captain RL with GPS fishing maps and fishing spots. I'm on an iPhone. Um, I believe this is a... Uh, honestly, I don't know which version this is. We've got so many iPhones. Um, I believe this is an 8. But it doesn't matter, they're all the same. I know you're just looking at a blank screen right now, but we're about to go to the email that you'll receive. And there's confusion about what files to open and when and uh, with an iPhone. And uh, really the only thing you really need to access with the iPhone is going to be these files here. This is the email you'll get. This is just how it'll look. Um, there's a blue link there you see. That's for going to the video help if you need it. But um, I'm not, I'm not um, saying you guys shouldn't use that link. But the, the actual instructions that you'll see down below where it says tap down instructions there that's a text file it'll open up and uh, it's, it's way more detailed than the videos are if you, if you want to read some guys aren't going to read some guys and guys won't read some will so the video help link is there use it if you need it okay now the things that iphone opens um in this in this uh set of attachments that you'll have in your email it'll open the text documents and it'll open google earth files It'll also open the GPS coordinates files. But right now, we're going to go after the Google Earth files. And you can see them. They're labeled there. You can see them. See what everything's named down here? You'll see that's coordinates. Those are Google files. Anything that says G-O-O-G-L or G-O-O-G, that's the Google Earth file. So we're going to tap this Google uh, Lobster file here. Now I'm going to tap it again. This will look pretty much just like this. It's at the top of the screen here, the one I'm doing now. And uh-oh, all of a sudden you get this. Well, look up at the top right of the screen. You see the square rectangle with the arrow pointing up towards your battery level? That is what you want to click, or excuse me, you want to tap that. Because that's going to actually give you the open with options for the apps you have on your phone. And you need to have Google Earth installed first. So I'm tapping it. And look at here. You scroll left, maybe right in some cases, but right in the middle of the screen, We've got copy to Google Earth, and that's and it may say open with Google Earth. Whatever it says, tap it, and then you get this. And look at here. Before you know it, we're off and running, and we're headed into the Southern Keys. Actually, the Middle Keys. Okay, this this sample file actually has the lobster spots with it. Somebody ordered the lobster spots and the fishing spots for the keys. Here's the NOAA map loading in the background. I've tapped on a spot. That's a yellowtail um, and snapper. And you can also live bait fish. And as you guys will see here, there's lots of patch reef to fish here. There's a wreck there. I know you can't really tell what I'm actually tapping on, but I'm just kind of buzzing around and looking. There, there's, there's lobster. The L's are going to just say pretty much lobster habitat because the L's are lobster spots, of course. Now, this is real compact. There's a lot of stuff piled in here because it's a phone screen and this stuff is uh it's made for a gps more than anything honestly these google earth files are something we thought of about 10 years ago as a way to plan your trip and take a look at the spots in the comments uh, this will not look like this on a gps screen unless you over zoom but on a phone this is how it'll look now you can use a couple of other gps apps that are out there for iphone inav x i think is one um, we don't really keep up with it too much. There's also one um, called iBoating. They're very difficult to use though. Uh, so we recommend, although you can navigate with the phone, we don't suggest it. Um, but you can. As you can see here, here, you know, here's what it is. And it's going to show you on that screen if you're down there. And you can navigate to these spots if, if you want to. Uh, but it's definitely at your own risk, guys. I would definitely get these coordinates into a GPS, which is what the GPS files are for. Or, of course, you can order the preloaded SD card. That's how you open it on an iPhone. Just remember, the right-hand upper rectangle when the weird screen shows up when you're trying to open that email attachment from the email that we send you with your files. Okay? And again, this is Captain RL, GPS Fishing Spots. You guys have a great day and uh, fish on. Take care.